talk for a minute about a question I see fairly often when people are digitizing, especially large, just plain fill areas. Explain what these stitches are and a little about what you can do to counteract them. So if you look in this fill area, you're going to see several places where you can see little, almost like extra look, they look like stitches that are inside the fill. Now when these stitch out, most of the time you don't see them. If the design is pretty well stabilized and on a solid fabric, those are going to just disappear into the fill. But let's talk about what's happening here. So my start and end point right now is here, which means my design is going to have to begin stitching here and end stitching here. Now I'm going to make this a little bit easier for a minute. I'm going to right click on that object and I'm going to turn off my underlay so that we don't have to look at the underlay stitches behind it. Now I'm going to go into my design player and just a little trick in design player, I'm going to hold down the control key and roll my mouse wheel and that will let me zoom into that shape a little bit. Now watch what happens when this stitches. Now we told it it had to start over here on the left side. So it started there, then did a little traveling stitch to get up to the top, filled in that first little bump over on the left, then had to travel over to the right to do that bump. And then it decided to travel down here and to the bottom. So we can kind of see the order that it's taking. And it's just making decisions on what it can do to get back to the final point that we've told it it has to get. And the places where we see these traveling lines, like across here and here or here, are where it's having to travel down into a little hill or valley and then come back to meet another fill to get consistent. So that's why when you see this and, peop and people ask what we can do about those stitches, the answer is always a couple of different things. You can either try and change the stitch direction or you can change the start and end point. So first of all, notice right now my little stitches are running left and right. If I adjust my stitch direction, for example, like this, now I'm kind of following the shape, all of a sudden I don't see those shapes anymore because when this stitch is out, it's going to be able to. So notice I had it start on the left still, so it's going to travel all the way to the right. But now it can travel all the way across that shape without having to tuck into any valleys. So that's really the most ideal solution. If you can find an angle where it can avoid getting into those little hills altogether, that's going to fix it. Now the other thing you can do sometimes that will help with these, I'm going to take my running or my angle back to being on that horizontal plane again, I can also move my start and end point. So if I tell it I want to let it start up here and end down here, now it only has a couple of those at this little valley, at that one, and right here, but it's going to be able to do the majority of it without having to break the design. So now I see it does the three little small areas, and then the majority of the stitching it's able to do without having to do any backtracking right up there until the end where it did one more of those little backtracks to get this stitch at the bottom. So what would really be ideal here is if I could get it to end at the very bottom point. So on the Home tab in Create, if I click on Insert Point, it's going to change my shape just a little, but I'm going to just click a point right there, right click to deselect that tool, then I would round it out. Obviously, if I was digitizing something specific, I'd be following artwork. But now, where it's having to travel down and then come back to this endpoint, if I move that endpoint down here, then we notice that stitch went away because, again, it's going to be able to travel all the way down and finish that. So those stitches are just the nature of the beast when we're working with irregular shaped fill areas and we're trying to have it go up and in different areas and out of different areas and do it all in one piece. Really, the solutions are to change the stitch angle, to play with your start and end points, or I could digitize this as separate sections. So maybe I digitize that one, then run over here and digitize that one, then come down here and digitize that one, and then do all the way down. Kind of make a decision about how to do that, but on those, then I would build just a little bit of overlap into each of the different areas so that I knew that I wouldn't end up with any gaps in my stitching. I hope this quick video has given you a little more insight to what the software does when we create these complex fills. Thank you very much.